So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, he got the Torah, he got the goodness, he started preaching. And as he started preaching, he always told the people, Inna Allah Rabbi wa Rabbukum fa'buduhu hadha siratun mustaqeem. Our maker, the one we worship, the supreme, Allah is the one who made us. He is my Rabb and he is your Rabb. My maker, your maker. The one who protects me, the one who protects you. The one who provides for me, the one who provides for you. So worship him alone and nobody else. This was the message of Jesus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's peace be upon him and may peace be upon all of us as well. So when we worship, who do we worship? And this is the beauty of Islam. We say Islam is a religion that has no risk. We do not worship a person, nor do we worship a stone, nor do we worship a stick, nor do we worship a prophet, nor do we worship a grave, nothing. We worship whoever made me. That's who I worship. That is what all the messengers said. We need to turn the pages of the Quran. We will shiver when we come to see every messenger came with exactly the same message when it comes to belief. The belief was all the same. They taught worship the one who made you, no one else. So when we Muslims, when we bow down or we put our heads on the ground, a lot of people think we might be worshiping a black box in Mecca. Some people think we're worshipping the Prophet Muhammad. Some people think we're worshipping this and that. No, we are worshipping the one who made us. That is the one for whom I put my head on the ground. This is why Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. Because everyone is fed up of worshipping things, of worshipping wealth, worshipping people, going through Allah via the priest and via the, the church and via this and via a person and via someone else who's an archbishop or whoever else. In Islam, no confession to nobody. You confess to your maker in the darkest hour of the night. Oh my maker, I have done wrong. I admit my error. I regret it. I seek your forgiveness and I won't do it again. Those four conditions, your sin is wiped out. May Allah wipe out our sins. Allahumma innaka afuun to hibbul afwa fa'afu anna. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive us. That is a powerful dua we should be making on a night like this. This might be the last taraweeh that we witnessed of the month of Ramadan if we happen to see the moon tomorrow. So it is important for us to know that Islam is a religion that is as straight, even straighter than a pin, if I can word it that way. No risk involved. We put our head on the ground for who? We say, whoever made me, you, you are owed my whole life. Whoever I'm going to return to have mercy on me when I return to you. When you are sick, O oh, owner of cure, cure me. Subhanallah, what risk is there? The owner of cure will cure you. You want to call out, O oh, you who hears the prayers of those who call out to him, hear me. What risk is involved? Nothing at all. The maker of the universe, the creator, the one who made me and you. This is sound intellect.